to another edition of Wrecking Ball Reviews. And here is the subject of today's review. Secret of the Dragon. Book 2 of the Dragon Ship series and sequel to Bones of the Dragon. Both, of course, by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. Secret starts right where Bones left off. Garn is dead, and Elaine, Skylan, and the other surviving Torgan are captives of Rhaegar, the treacherous cousin, who has seduced Treya, the pr uh, Bone Priestess, who is Aelin's sister. They are taken to Cenaria, which is basically the uh, dragon ship equivalent of a Roman Empire, one that's conquering and expanding, and the ones who worship the gods of the New Dawn. And it's there in Cenaria that Skylan um, and Aelian and the rest of the Torgon are forced to fight in the Paradix. <laughs> that's spelled P-A-R-A-D-I-X. Paradix. Yes. They're forced to fight in it, and it's... Well, I assume that it would be just your equivalent of a gladiator arena, but not quite. That's all the plot that I really want to give away to you, because I absolutely hate spoilers. So I'm just going to get on with the review of Secret of the Dragon. Now, I can honestly say that I loved Bones of the Dragon, Secret's predecessor. Absolutely amazing. Like... This is Margaret Weiss and Tracy Heckman in their world-building prime. I was just seriously blown away by its amazingness, its character depth, twists, turns, the pace, the writing style, everything about it I loved. And Secret is no exception. It's almost exactly as good as Bones. Obviously, kicked up a few notches because it's a sequel, but still, great. Now, naturally, with the new book and similar, the same characters as the previous book, there's some character development. Things such as Skylan finally getting over his terrible hubris and going from an arrogant whelp to a thinking, likable character. Elaine kind of gets over her grief for Garn near the end, and you see her and Skylan become friends again. Not any just yet, but I think we're going to have some of that in the future. And we also get some new depth on Rhaegar, the treacherous cousin, Tre Treya, the bone priestess who is Elaine's sister, and Wolf, the little half daemon, or he's half fairy, half human boy. I liked all the new characters, like Chloe, the little crippled girl. Very nice storytelling there. And I also liked uh, Zahakis and Cronus, two very solid and surprisingly good characters. And the ogre character, Keeper. I liked that, being able to see another side of the ogres, who we've only seen previously as antagonists. And Keeper is in the Paradix with Skyland, Elaine, and the others, and he kind of befriends them. So we get to see another side of the ogres in this novel, which is good. I kind of... I would say that my favorite character in the dragon ship so far would have to be the little um, fairy human boy, Wolf. Really like him. He's almost like a darker form of Tasselhoff Burfoot, but Still, with some, he brings most of the comedic relief, which I like, because Weiss and Hickman can be really funny, just so they can be awesomely dramatic or awesomely action-oriented. They get, still have some comedic flavor to all their novels, which is something that I've really liked about them, and Wolf definitely brings it in the Dragon Ships. I also liked the characterization of Treya and Rhaegar in these novel. Um... I think that they're going to be the enduring villains through the proposed six book series of the Dragon Ships. We're already two books in, so only four more to go. I think they'll be the main villains for most of the time because, well, what I really liked about them 
was their character depth. Like, they're not born evil, and they don't really have evil intentions. It's more like they've been corrupted by their self-serving intentions, um, and also corrupted by not being cared for enough. Like Treya, she's rejected from her family, basically sold off from a young age to the Bone Priestesses, and she's lonely, needs someone to love, finds that in Rhaegar, and that's her weakness, really. Rhaegar is what makes her give up the other Torgun. And Rhaegar, he's trying to find a place in the society of Cenaria. He's trying to find a place there, but he's uh, regarded as a barbarian, and distrusted and hated by some. And I really think that's what drives him to do his evil deeds. It's He's trying to find a place in the world of Cenaria, and he can't, because he's viewed as little better than a slave. I think giving these villains human characteristics, really human characteristics, and showing different sides of them, that's a great way for people to actually sympathize with these villains, like Treya and Rhaegar. And it's part of what makes Margaret Weiss and Tracy, he Tracy Heckman so awesomely great. Like, just like it was with Raistlin and Dragonlance. So I'm giving Secret of the Dragon, Book 2 of the Dragon Ships of Vindrash, by Tracy Hickman and Margaret Weiss, the top stellar rating of 3 out of 3 stars. Awesome. And I, I would think that Dragon Ships is a bit of a reincarnated Dragon Lance. It basically boils down to the struggle between the men, the gods, and some new gods. It's That's something that happened later on in the series of Dragonlance, like with Chaos, and then later on in um, the War of Souls trilogy. And I really feel like Weiss and Heckman have completely taken all the positive things from Dragonlance, put them into the series, and then given the characters and the world uh, twists and differences that said apart from Dragonlance, but still draw parallelities. So, Dragon Ships is awesome. Probably Weiss and Heckman's magnum opus so far. Uh, so if you have not read Bones of the Dragon or Secret of the Dragon or the Dragonlance, Dark Sword, Deathgate Cycle, or anything else that Margaret Weiss and Tracy Heckman have done, get out there, do it now. These are two of the best fantasy writers of all time. With Well, thanks for watching today's edition of Wrecking Ball Reviews. Keep it real. See you later.